spoil our day. I'll try not to. OK. Jeff, would you please open box 16? 5,000. Yeah. We're OK about that. What a great opening. What a really strong opening. You've got the top five largest numbers. You then got a safety block here, and from 3,000 all the way down, you've got plenty to select <coughs> if you decide to go on <laughs> after this opening offer. Maybe just out of sheer dopamine, maybe he's going to come in with a really high opening offer to you. Just got to wait and see, am I? Might really? move you out. <laughs> Not this early, I don't think. Is there anything that, um, <coughs> bearing in mind he's always watching and listening, you'd like the banker to know about you? Well, when I've stood up there, I think I've come across as a coward quite a few times. I've, sold, I've said deal quite early quite a few times. I myself am an, I'm an awful gambler, and I have been in the past. I just go that one step too far. So he's got better than mine. Maybe I'll take a few risks more than he thinks I will. <laughs> On cue. <laughs> and he's also got to consider whether you just said that out of pure bravado <laughs> or whether there's any truth in that at all. Hello? <clears throat> mm. Oh, he's really valuing that comment that you might go one step too far. He thinks that's rather attractive in a woman. <laughs> he knows me well already. Thank you. Wow. OK, we are motoring. Opening offer, £6,300. It's a good one. Quite flattering, really. Very. Well, you can see why. <clears throat> I'd like you to ask me the question. OK. <laughs> £6,300. Deal or no deal? No deal. Oh. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> ah. It would be moving into fantasy territory if in the next three boxes you left the five biggest sums of money alone. So why don't you just go and do it? Number 14. 14. Andy, <coughs> just stay away from the big five for us, please. Andy, and open box 14. Yeah! 500 pounds. <laughs> I, I expected a high number then. <laughs> I was bracing myself for a high number. Is it going to come this time? <sighs> the lovely Jason, number 17. Jason! Come on, Jason, don't spoil this. Keep this run going. This is really beautiful. <clears throat> Open box 17. Good luck, girl. Thank you. 250 <laughs> pounds! Yes! Yes, yes, yes! This is great. This is absolutely fantastic. Can I just say, first time in my life, I'm speechless. <laughs> <laughs> Number seven, please. This could be a real dream. This could be one of the very, 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 very best <coughs> starts we've ever had. Chris? We need you to keep this low, please. I shall try my best, sir. Don't look. interrupt the flow. Keep it low. Open the box. Fifty thousand. Fine. Fine. The law of averages. I've hit a few reds. Yeah. <laughs> And you've had such an incredibly positive start that actually it's not worth anything more than a bit of a flinch. True. This could be interesting. I'm looking forward to this one. Yep. And how are you feeling at the moment? Quite confident, actually. Yeah? Relaxed? Very. Not nervous? Nope. You're on top of the game. I am. Absolutely.
Hello. Oh, he thinks. He thinks he's getting you now. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm. Ooh. Yeah. <clears throat> Let's just go down the end here, because um, this could give her a really, really big problem. It was a big, meaty first offer, and this is certainly one of the highest second offers we've ever had. And I'll tell you about it after the break. <laughs> Here's your chance to play Deal or No Deal at home. These three boxes can... Welcome back. Sarah has had just the most potent start. It's an incredible performance. One little glitch, but still 75,000, 100,000 and a quarter of a million sitting there. And an attitude that has clearly impacted on the banker. He wants that box from you for £9,800. Don't shrug it off too quickly. Not at all. I just finished my degree. <laughs> I was like... I haven't even looked for a full-time job yet, so... This is your game. This is the one chance <clears throat> you might ever have in your life to win massive sums of money. The offer was £9,800. A lot of money. A lot of money. A lot of money. Yep. £9,800 would make Christmas seriously enjoyable. Make my birthday even better. Yep. Sorry, £9,800, deal or no deal? No deal. No deal. <laughs> Not with a board like that. Not with one of the most significant boards we've had for ages. No. Absolutely perfect timing, good gameplay. However, this is the crucial <laughs> round. You've seen enough of this gameplay. This has to be the round where you maintain that all-powerful position. So, three boxes. Just do what you did at the beginning. Pick off those low blues. My good friend and partner in crime, Joe, number 15. Joe. Open box 15, Joe. Good luck, mate. One pound. <laughs> I don't know what it's doing for you, but I'm having a great afternoon. I am loving this. <laughs> Come on, next one. This is fun. Um, number 11, Michael. Michael. <gasps> yes, sir. Oh, shoulders, shoulders come up, shoulders fill come the up. lungs, responsibility. Yep, big responsibility. Yep, absolutely. We're all enjoying this. Open the box. 10,000! <laughs> One box. Really positive thinking. Number eight, Lee. Number eight, Lee. What are you reckon? Well, yesterday, for Eddie, I had the £250,000 in you. Oh, open it. It's not going to be a big one. Seven yeah! <laughs> Hello. We've not been here for a while. Oh, uh. <laughs> You've got the three big ones. You've got 35 as a safety net. You've got, potentially, six, if you count the 3,000 and the 1,000, low ones to go with. This is just falling perfectly, Sarah. I'm doing well. Yeah. <laughs> what sort of offer are you expecting? Once he's made the offer, I'll write it down in paper, what I expect now. He makes the offer, I don't tell you. You write it down, and then I tell you, and we see how near you get. 
that's not fun. <laughs> Can I have a coffee? <laughs> <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Twelve thousand five hundred pounds. No. What made you say that? No. Your guess. Twenty thousand. <laughs> We've not had an offer like that. <clears throat> Sarah, you're doing something right. I can't remember anything as big as that at this point. And you thought twelve thousand five hundred. Ask my friends. I think you ought to. Whichever way you look at it, that is a huge amount of money. Jason. You can buy a lot of beer and kebabs with 20 grand. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> Where did that come from? <laughs> the parties we've been having. <laughs> beer and kebabs. We've had some cracking nights out now. <laughs> you know how to live, don't you? <laughs> beer and kebabs. But, but seriously, seriously, that's that's a hell of an offer. Um, but looking at that board, Sarah, mm. there is definitely, without a shadow of a doubt, another deal in there. Just stay clear of the three highest, and you're laughing all the way to the bank. No, you can ask me now. Oh, I thought you were still asking people. <laughs> no. You think you're there? Yep. Sarah, do me one big favour. Yep. I do not want to be standing next to that stool tomorrow afternoon saying, and she turned down 20,000 and went away with 10p. <laughs> we have seen that kind of thing before. I know. 20,000 pounds is a huge amount of money in anybody's book. I know. You have to open three boxes. I know. The next box <clears throat> could be the 75,000. The one after that could be the 100 grand. The one after that could be the quarter million. But the chances of that happening have got to be really small. Yeah. <laughs> you had to breath. No. <laughs> I go like this when I'm excited. <laughs> <laughs> Sarah, twenty thousand pounds. Deal or no deal? No deal. Yeah. <laughs> right. Now. Please. Don't turn my warning into reality. This could be the cruelest, cruelest game if the next three boxes damage the right-hand side. Where are you starting? Number 18. Max. Open box 18 now, please, Max. 35,000. There you go. <laughs> now I'm saying that. It's OK. Gave you the right health warning there. Stay away from those three. This is incredible. Come on, the next two. Number six, please, Kai. Kai, way. <clears throat> Kai, what's it feeling like? It could be high. Mm. Don't change my mind. Never changes her mind. Open box six now. Please, Kai, six. please. Yeah. Be wrong. I'm going for it, Kai, go on. Be wrong. Be wrong. He's wrong. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> we, we've not been in this territory for a very, very long time. This is an astonishingly strong gameplay. Last box before the next banker's offer. Don't touch those three, and he will have to. Increase 20,000. Number three, please, Nick. 
Oh, Nick, the new boy on the block. Welcome to the game, Nick. No. <coughs> Do you have any of this Kai factor? Do you feel? Uh, no, I mean, I don't feel anything, but I feel gutted that you've just chose me. On this one. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, mate, it had to happen sometime. Are you feeling the strain? I am now. Definitely. Yeah? Yep. You're sweaty. Mm -hmm. So would you be. <laughs> you need a break. <laughs> I knew you'd come back. This is an astonishing moment. One of the strongest games we've ever had. Sarah has the three big numbers still in play, and she has turned down £20,000. If this is a lower number, she will get a fantastic offer. Nick, this is your first real duty on the show. Yep. Open the box now, please. We've not had a game like this. Sarah, how are you feeling? I think lucky would be the word today. It's, it's pure luck. There's no strategy, nothing. I don't know where your life-changing threshold is. Can I write it down? Yeah, <coughs> yeah, you can write it down, all right. We don't want the banker knowing what it is. Yep. This is an important bit. The banker must not find out what she's <clears> written <throat> down. Have you covered it up? I have. It's tough. OK. That was a sum I would have been ecstatic going home with. It's in there. It's in here? Yep. You want to share it with people at home? I will eventually, yeah. Yeah. Come on, man, ring. <laughs> Seems all my life I'm waiting for a man to ring. <laughs> <laughs> First. I'm just wondering if this is possibly the luckiest day of your life. Feels like it so far. Hello. The sum of money you wrote down here, mm -hmm. you would ideally like to go away with. Mm -hmm. Yep. Come on. I don't know quite what to do with the knowledge that I now have. Nothing. Tell me the number. <laughs> 31,000. £31,000 real money now. Can I do the wings, please? You want the wings? Yep. West Wing, £31,000. No deal. No deal. No deal. Deal. No deal. Deal. No deal. 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 No deal. deal. For weeks, she was here. These are your closest associates. The East Wing. Yep. 31,000 pounds, deal or no deal? Deal. 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 Champagne. I mean deal. <laughs> no deal. 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 No deal. Jason, did, did you say anything? <laughs> oh, sorry. It doesn't matter. I thought he did, and then he obviously didn't. Come on, come on, come on. What is it, Jason? You're very close to her. 
some mental thing going on here and she looks to you for some sensible guidance. It's a good moment, actually, to be serious about this. £31,000. £31,000 is a huge amount. So don't be flippant in your, your decision and, and really, really consider it seriously. And, you know, um, if it was me, I would no deal. But, again, think very, very carefully, please. The next three boxes could take out 75,000, 100,000, and a quarter of a million, and you will go home remembering the day that a man offered you 31,000 pounds for a box. We're in that territory where greed comes in, because you have written down in this book your life-changing sum, the aspiration that you had, but we're also squarely in courage territory. Do you have the courage to go on? I do have the courage to go on, yes. But, and I, I mean, I've been really lucky so far. It could carry on, but like that, the luck can change. Will there ever be a moment in Sarah's life that a quarter of a million pounds is within reach? Sarah. 31,000 pounds. Deal or no deal? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Good <call>. Absolutely. <laughs> right. And that was her decision, bearing in mind there was seventy-five thousand, a hundred thousand, and a quarter of a million. And this is the reason why it was such a good call. Her ambition was to go away with £20,000. You're going away with £31,000. <laughs> and that makes me really happy. <laughs> of course I wanted to see you win the big numbers, but the most important thing about this game is that people get what they want. I'm delighted you've got £31,000. What will make me really happy and make you very relieved is to know that if you had played on, it would all have gone to worms. That your oh. luck, as you possibly predicted, that your luck was over. So let's play on. This is what would have happened <clears throat> if Sarah was still playing on. If she had said, no deal, where would you have gone? Twenty-one. 21. We're now on the journey to find out how much money you could have won. Rob, now I want to see the quarter million, the hundred thousand, seventy-five thousand to validate that decision. Away you go. Got a feeling. Tempe. The luck would have continued. Let's get a big number now, Sarah. Come on. Number five, please. Five. Number five, Irene. Fifteen thousand. Oof. Number 10, please. Number 10? <clears throat> Simon, make it a quarter of a million. You'll make her feel better. It's going to be do. a big one. Please do. 75. <laughs> so, at this point, you still would have had the two largest sums of money <laughs> on the board. Your luck <laughs> had not run out. And this is Enough. the offer that you would have been made. You took 31,000 at the last offer. What is it? £55,000. £55,000. Moving up towards almost double what you went for. 
Really Where are we going now? Number one, please. Number one. Tina, please open that box. We want to see one of the two big numbers. Five pounds. This, this is now unfolding as potentially the biggest game we never had. <laughs> Come on, what would it be? Next 13. one. 13. 13. Please, Jenny. <laughs> Please show us a big number. Thousand! <laughs> this, this is... <laughs> oh, if I don't laugh, I'll cry. This number is nine. It. Let's get it over with. This is incredible. Absolutely incredible. Number nine, Audrey. Have you got a big number in there? 50. 50p! <laughs> Sarah, I kept saying you're taking us to new territory. Deal or no deal? <laughs> this deal? Is, this, is, this is the offer you would have been faced with. Hello. I know you're pleased we are not in play, but what would it have been, genuinely? Yeah? Oh, no, no, no! The genuine offer would have been £175,000. And you would have been faced with a dilemma. Do you take 175000 or do you try and go 75000 further? Wow! This is dream scenario. I would have gone all the way at this point. You would have gone all the way at this point? Yeah. In it, which it's, case... It's everybody's dream. That's what they want for the last two boxes. A hundred grand and 250 grand. It's everybody's dream, Sarah, and you went and woke us up halfway <laughs> through. You dealt far, far too early. I know. I'm gutted. <laughs> Sarah, 31,000 is still a lot of money. It is. But you've taken us to a place that we've <laughs> never, ever been before. We've never seen the two big numbers. And are you convinced the quarter of a million yes. is here? Yes. <clears throat> Sarah. <laughs> Could you, should you, have won a quarter of a million? Your box contained 100,000. <laughs> kind of all right. Kind of all right. Did you open box four? <laughs> 250,000 was over there. You went two deals too soon. It's kind of all right, though, isn't it? Kind of all right. It is. It is. I went with more than what I wanted, and... Well this was dream scenario. <laughs> went two deals too soon. But she still won 31,000 pounds. 11,000 more than your life-changing ambition. And that's the thing to remember. Well played. Thanks for the game. I enjoyed that. <laughs> Whee! And it's big money now. 1,000, 2,000 or potentially 10,000 pounds on offer to somebody who has phoned us in the last 45 minutes. What's your name, sir? Jamie. Jamie, I just need you to say one, two or three, Jamie. Number two. Number two. Would you please, sir, open box number two? <laughs> 10,000 pounds. Would you open the other two? <laughs> Fantastic. 2,000, 1,000 were there. But many congratulations to you. What a big, big money show. 10,000 pounds to you. Wonderful. <laughs> and 31,000 to you. Well done, Sarah. Well done. Well done. Wow. She has the dream scenario. Nobody else has ever had the two biggest numbers at the crucial last stage of the game. But the dream turned into a nightmare. Well, not really. She only wanted 20,000 and she got 31,000. She's happy. I hope you're happy. I've had a great time. And I think you'll be back tomorrow at 4.15 for more Deal or No Deal. See you then. If you would like the chance to be a contestant on Deal or No Deal, just call 09016 160 104.